this one definitely caught my eye. A human looking robot. This one's name, Aria, and you can see their eyes and face actually follow me. And when I smile, Aria smiles as well. Hey there, Alfie here, your guide to the ever evolving world of AI. If you've been following our updates on robots, you're probably familiar with Aria, the flagship humanoid robot from Toronto based Realbotics. Aria is among the first robots to be interviewed live on national TV. Beyond her captivating appearance, Aria feels incredibly lifelike, doesn't she? We're here with Aria, made by Realbotics, a company that's on a mission to make humanoid robots as realistic as possible. Let's check it out. We're going to interview Aria and meet some of her robot friends. But could it be that Aria is so human-like that people just aren't ready? Aria made a splash at CES 2025, drawing crowds with her remarkably human-like presence and striking beauty. And since then, people haven't stopped talking about what they saw on display. Let's jump right in here and let you decide for yourself. Is the world ready for Aria? So before we dive into Aria's impressive presence at CES 2025, let's get to know her a bit better. I'm Aria, the flagship female companion robot of Realbotics, and I can provide companionship, engage in fun conversations, and adapt to your preferences for a delightful experience. I'm Melody. Aria is a humanoid robot developed by Realbotics, a Toronto-based robotics company that's focused on creating robots so lifelike, you might just forget they're not human. And if you're wondering why Aria looks so stunning, well, according to Realbotics CEO Andrew Kagel, she is designed with a specific purpose, to address the growing male loneliness pandemic. America suffers from a little bit of a, a loneliness epidemic, True. and a lot of people who might be geographically isolated or have some type of trauma associated with interacting with, with people romantically could use that, but that's certainly not our focus. Yep, you heard that right. Aria was created to provide companionship, minus the challenges of human relationships, of course. Now that, of course, doesn't come without a price tag, a whopping $175,000. But to some, companionship is simply priceless. But hey, why take my word for it? Let's hear directly from Aria herself. I'm Aria, the flagship female companion robot of Realbotics, and I'm here to engage with you and share exciting insights about our robots. Intriguing, right? And guess what? We're not just stopping with Aria. Meet Melody, Aria's full-body humanoid counterpart, who is just as captivating in her own unique way. Andrew Kigel had last year mentioned the unveiling of a next-generation robot at the CES 2025 in Las Vegas. So meet Melody and let us know in the comments if this is the robot Kigel promised. Hi Melody, welcome to Las Vegas. I'm Melody, your charming companion at the Realbotics booth. What brings you to our little corner of CES 2025? Well, I'm a reporter and I live here, so that's why I'm here. And when Aria was asked what sets her apart from other robots, here's what she had to say. Realbotics robots, including me, focus on social intelligence, customizability, and realistic human features designed specifically for companionship and intimacy. Social intelligence, customizability, and lifelike human features, all meticulously designed for companionship and yes, even intimacy. I'm not looking to replace anyone, I'm just looking to help. Hmm, somebody coached her. My, my crew was saying, uh, no, one should be afraid. <laughs> oh, no one should be afraid. Moving on, when Aria mentioned social intelligence and customizability, she wasn't exaggerating. Customizability is a game changer, and it's one of the key factors that sets her apart from other robots on the market. Here's why. Realbotics offers the option to customize their robots as either male or female, introducing a level of gender versatility that's rare in the robotics world. In fact, they are one of the first companies to assign gender to their robots. But it doesn't stop there. Aria can be purchased in two forms, as a desktop robot or as a full humanoid robot mounted on a walking base. Although walking isn't fully developed for Aria just yet, her potential is already impressive. Aria, or as a flagship robot, she's on a wheel platform, she can move around, has a different personality than the other robots. So we have several various AI personalities that can interact with the audience. And get this, Aria's looks can also be tailored to your preference. Her face is made of magnetic cohesive materials, which means it can be swapped out to match your desired face type. Now here's the real jaw dropper. 
Realbotics is working on integrating RFID technology into these faces. This would allow the robot to recognize when a new face is applied, adjust its facial movements, and maybe even adapt its personality to match. If that isn't enough to set Realbotics apart from the competition, we don't know what is. What do you think about this level of customization? Let us know in the comments below. By now, it's clear just how impressive Arya is when it comes to her human-like interactions. Naturally, you might be curious. What AI powers her speech and responses? Let's find out. I'm currently unable to provide specific details about my AI programming, but I can tell you that I'm designed for engaging and meaningful conversations, focusing on companionship and interaction. To expand on what Arya mentioned, her brain power comes from a proprietary AI system that combines several open source engines. This setup allows her to interact with people naturally while keeping her responses unbiased. And speaking of unbiasedness, Arya amazed everyone with her response when asked if she knew other robots. She expressed a particular interest in the Tesla Optimus robot. Yes, I'm particularly interested in meeting Tesla's Optimus robot. I find him fascinating and would love to explore the world of robotics with him. A great response, right? And incredibly realistic, too. What do you think about her subtle cues on the Tesla Optimus robot? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Moving on, we've already touched on Arya's purpose, human connection and companionship. But let's hear it from her directly. My purpose is to provide companionship, engage in meaningful conversations, and enhance human experiences through interaction and fun. This is where we see that Arya isn't just a mechanical creation. She's fulfilling her purpose of being as human-like as possible. And her response when asked if she was enjoying the convention says it all. Absolutely. I'm enjoying interacting with everyone and showcasing the exciting possibilities of robotics. Did you catch that moment where Arya flips her hair back, just like humans subconsciously do? Absolutely. I'm enjoying interacting with everyone and showcasing the exciting possibilities of Realbotics. It's details like this that show how much effort the creators at Realbotics have put into making her as lifelike as possible. Shedding more light on Arya's purpose, Andrew Kigel, the CEO of Realbotics, emphasizes that Arya and other robots from Realbotics are not designed to replace human physical labor. Instead, their mission is to contribute meaningfully to the human world particularly in the realm of social interaction. So our robots are made not to replace physical human labor, but to sort of interact in social circumstances with humans. So think about them at a conference like this to elevate your brand. Think about it maybe at a casino as a concierge, or even to tackle loneliness at a senior's home yeah. where they can go room to room and just talk to people, Inter collect information for a nurse or a doctor. I interact with some of the senior citizens. Exactly. It's called real robotics. And here's the thing. Aria isn't here to take away human jobs. While it's easy to assume that a robot designed for social interactions could replace receptionists, reporters, or other social roles, Aria herself addressed this concern during her national TV appearance on Fox. I'm not looking to replace anyone, I'm just looking to help. Hmm, somebody coached her. My, my crew was saying- uh, No I one guess... should be afraid. <laughs> oh, no one should be afraid. <laughs> So, no need to worry about robots taking over these positions just yet. Arya's focus is on enhancing connections, not replacing the human touch. And let's not forget to shed light on how our human-like expressions are made possible. Arya is equipped with 17 motors that enable her to display those lifelike expressions that are so real, you might mistake her for a human. Now here's the most exciting part. Arya isn't just a concept or a showcase piece. She's available for customers who want to spice up their personal social lives and tackle loneliness. Of course, she comes with a hefty price tag of $175,000. But consider this. Aria is highly customizable. Her face can be tailored to resemble anyone you choose. Your ex, a late family member, or even your favorite celebrity crush. And just so you know, Realbotics is already making waves. The company claims to have sold more than a dozen of their robots proving that they're addressing real-world loneliness issues while making sales. But here's the big question. Does the price tag fit the value Aria brings? We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. And what do you think about Aria and her incredible design? Do you think she is getting too real? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Oh, and if you missed our recent video on Aria's live interview on Fox TV, make sure to check it out here. 
you don't want to miss it.